You know what's crazy is that 24 hours apart, both Ravens backup QBs are getting new opportunities. Uh, of course, Lamar Jackson leading up into this week, he had been sick. Uh, and then his symptoms, they went overboard yesterday. So Tyler Huntley ended up getting a start. And now the very next day, getting signed off the practice squad is Trace McSorley, Mr. Throw it on a dime. Congrats to the Arizona Cardinals for getting somebody that Ravens didn't really have much experience with. They didn't really have, he, he didn't really get much playing time at all. Uh, but in the playing time that he did get, he did make it count. Now, I remember the COVID game from last year uh, where all the Ravens starters were out pretty much on both sides of the ball. They had so many people on the COVID list. It was crazy. Um, yeah, but Trace McSorley, he was one of the survivors that did not go on the list. Uh, and so was RG3. So RG3, uh, he got the start, and I think he got knocked out the game. I forget exactly what happened. But Trace McSorley came in. He came in, and he threw a, a touchdown to Hollywood. Where he, he threw it to him, Hollywood made one guy miss, boom, touchdown. But I think an even more memorable moment uh, from Trace McSorley in his career uh, with the Ravens, uh, it came in the game last year, the, uh, the Lamar Jackson, the BGs game, where he had to go out for a little period of time against the Browns because we all know that walk. We know that walk. Like When you're walking like that and you're walking fast and slow at the same time, yeah, it's time. And it ain't going to wait. But anyway, so when Lamar was handling his business, Trace McSorley, he had to come in. And he came in and he completed a crucial pass to Willie Sneed, I believe, for a first down. Kept the drive in the game alive. Um, but he ended up tearing his ACL on that play. But then he tore his ACL, so he had to come off the field. So while he's walking back to the locker room, he, he was still on the sideline, but he was walking. He sees Lamar come in and make a play, make a touchdown. Was it, was it the touchdown to Hollywood? I think it might have, might have been. But he sees Lamar make that play. And while he's limping, going back to the, going back to the locker room, this dude stops, cheers Lamar on. It's like, yeah, let's go. So Cardinals, uh, that you are getting uh, the ultimate supporter uh, and the ultimate teammate. And this is a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful thing uh, for the Cardinals. And again, I know he's just going to be the backup for now. But, hey, you, you never know. You never know. We always say stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. So, Trace McSorley, I'm sure he'll be staying ready. Now, he was in competition uh, this offseason with Tyler Huntley, who we mentioned before, uh, for Ravens' backup QB spot, for their number two backup QB spot. And I, I figured that they weren't going to keep three quarterbacks active uh, on the roster. Um, and I had always envisioned going into this season that Lamar Jackson would be the number one and Tyler Huntley would be the number two. And I really just don't even think that there was even much competition um, going in this offseason because I felt like Tyler Huntley last year, he already established himself as the number two quarterback. Because once Tyler Huntley, I mean, excuse me, once Trace McSorley went out with injury, Tyler Huntley was the number two. And then he even got to get into some games. Like when the Ravens, if they be blowing somebody out, like the Jaguars or the Giants, Tyler Huntley got to get in. And then unfortunately in the playoff game, when Lamar went out with a concussion, then Tyler Huntley went in there too. And he didn't look half bad. He threw a nice deep ball to Hollywood and Hollywood, ugh, he just slowed up a tiny bit because that would have been a touchdown. But anyway... I did not feel like Trace McSorley even really had a shot at being a number two quarterback. So then the preseason rolled along and Tyler Huntley looked amazing. And we were like, oh, yeah, we <laughs> even though I felt like it was locked up already, the preseason like threw away the key for the number two position. And Trace McSorley ended up being released and then signed to the practice squad. And then he's been there ever since. And his the first the very it's crazy because the very first game that he gets called up from the practice squad, he gets signed to another team the very next day. Very next day. So shout out to Trace McSorley. Now with the Cardinals, um, this kind of lets us know, like, hey, uh, Kyler Murray, his his injury ain't doing so good. Now Trace McSorley, when he walks into the building, and now he's got to go across the country, but when he walks into the building uh, for the Cardinals, their, their facility. 
he's going to look around and say, whoa, oh my goodness. And when DeAndre Hopkins is healthy, when he finally sees him, then he's oh, DeAndre Hopkins? Oh, hey. I remember when the Ravens, they, they, they tried to trade for DeAndre Hopkins, but then, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. AJ Green, man, I, I've been on the Ravens, and they, they've told me so many stories about you. Is it true? Are you really the, the Ravens killer? And then, uh, of course, uh, Rondell Moore with all that speed. And um, is it, uh, what's the, uh, Isabella. Isabella, too. So they, they, they got some nice little receivers over there. Ravens got some nice receivers, too, now. Don't sleep on our receivers, then. But Cardinals, they, they, they really got some nice receivers over there. And some guys who are probably more, more established than Ravens receivers. Uh, but he's going into a good situation. Uh, he's going to a uh, winning team. And, again, he already has that winning mentality. So this this shouldn't be one of those things. And this this could be, like I said earlier, it could be opportunity for him. You never know what could happen. Obviously, Kyler is their guy. He's their guy. Clear cut. That's their, their quarterback. So there's no QB controversy at all like that. But with them signing him to the active roster, you never know if a, something could happen to where Kyler's still out and Trace McSorley ends up uh, getting in. But a big thing, uh, we talk about culture. We know Ravens culture. They have had a winning culture for, for a while now. Um, now, we wish and hope that it gets even more winning in, when it comes to the playoffs, but th- we talk about that another time. But So, Trace McSorley has already been a part of that since 2019. He's been with the Ravens because he was a six, I want to say six-round pick in 2019 uh, from Penn State. So, he's been around. Like, Trace McSorley, as long as he's been with the Ravens, they have lost a total of two in 2019, five in 2020, so that's seven, and then three this year. So they've lost a total of 10 games in three seasons. 10 games combined in three seasons. So he knows what it's like to win. The Cardinals have been doing their thing over there. So it makes it because, like, you know how some, some guys will get signed off of the practice, but they'll go to a bad team. And then it'd be like, man, I almost I wish I would have stayed on a practice squad. Even though his, his money gonna go up, he's getting a raise. So that's a beautiful thing. Um, but he's he's going to a good situation. And hey, I I wouldn't be mad if, if Trace got to see the Ravens in the Super Bowl. I, I wouldn't be mad at that at all. Look, Kyler versus Lamar. Is, ooh, that'd be great. But we'll see. So he um yeah, whatever his role ends up being, we're going to see. We're going to see. But uh, that would be interesting to see him in that type of offense where they just really like throwing that ball all over the field. They're not run heavy over there. they really throwing that ball all over the field. So I, I just I don't think he's going to get much of a shot. But if he does, we'll see. So we, us Ravens fans, we're going to be rooting for him. We're going to be rooting for him for sure. Um, and he's somebody that uh, – yeah, Trace, Trace McSorley, this, this, this guy with that, I remember the, the throw it on a dime. That whole TikTok video that blew up. I don't know how it blew up. I don't know why it blew up, but it did. And that was Trace McSorley, his claim to fame. So, anyway, shout out to the card. I'm, I'm glad that he's getting to the go there uh, in, instead of a, a lot of other places that wouldn't have been so good. Um, but hopefully with Kyler Murray, he can get healthy soon, too. Because, obviously... When your team is at full goal, when they, when, when they have their full roster, they're a lot better. And Kyler Murray makes a big difference uh, from everybody else on the squad. Who they got? I think, what, Colt, Colt McCoy, I believe? Uh, even though they just won yesterday, they beat the Seahawks. But you know what? Let, let, me see what let me see what the Cardinals record is right now. Let me see. Arizona Cardinals record. Because I, I, I want to say it's 7-3. and three. I, I don't remember for sure, though. But let me look it up right now. Okay, they're first in the NFC West. Let's see the standings. They are, oh, excuse me. I said seven and three. My fault. Because I, I remember they lost to the, uh, the Packers, but that was some weeks ago. But they're nine and two. Oh, man, I, I'm, I'm glad I looked this up. Oh, yeah, that's, that is a tough division right there, though. Because they got the Rams, who they, oof, Rams needed the bye week. They, they, they needed that bye week. 
Uh, but they got the Rams. They got the 49ers. 49ers been, they've been sneaking around. They've been coming up recently. Getting some wins over some, some big yikes teams. But and then the Seahawks. I don't know what the Seahawks got going on, man. I, I really don't know what the Seahawks got going on right now. Um, it's just been a mess over there. Without Russell Wilson, with Russell Wilson, it, it's, it's, it's been crazy. Um, but anyway, I wish I had more to tell you, Cardinals fans, about Trace McSorley, but he just really didn't get much opportunity uh, with the Ravens. Never complain, though. Never complain. You never heard anything. But uh, again, at the same time, there's very low expectations for him being a six-round pick uh, at the quarterback position when the Ravens obviously have their guy uh, at quarterback. So let's see what happens. Anyway, just like Trace McSorley is when it comes to being a member of the Ravens, I'm out.